Hi there again everyone, Josie here, Live at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel where you will find mostly affordable, practical and easy DIYs. Today I'll be showing you some home decor and organization or storage ideas that are in farmhouse style. I'll be using this box here again, just like what you see in the backdrop there. I created that. Uh, last couple of weeks ago so if you haven't seen the video of this storage chest with the drawer style system I will be linking it in the description box below also as an iCard on the upper right hand corner so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try to use them separately instead of together so for this first project I'm just gonna show you just separating them using just the bigger part which is the outer part and I'm gonna use four of them to show you how I can organize my paint bottles like the ones that I'm showing you here I am just demonstrating how you can fit four of them so as you could see this is the apple barrel that they usually carry at Walmart and this is the two fluid ounces or 59 ml bottle also even the Mod Podge that they sell at Dollar Tree and also I think the paint bottles that they sell at Dollar Tree they will fit as well because they're almost the same size again you have to look at the ones that look similar to these bottles here so just to demonstrate look at this one this is the Waverly chalk paint this is shorter than the bottles that I placed here like this one but it is wider or fatter so you can only probably fit two of that but if you want to mix probably two of that and maybe one thin bottle you can fit three store them lying down and I think it's best so that you could easily identify or see the colors you put them where the lid will be in the inner part and then the bottom part so that you will see the colors are going to be showing on the outer part or it will be at the front like so so depending on how many paints you have you can use more or less of these cubes and just arrange them the way you like so I'm loosely arranging them so that I can pick up one probably cube and then use those paints for a project so it'll be good to color coordinate just to show you with this current project that I have just completed you can use also the cubby to uh, partially probably display your items if you just want to remove those three drawers on the top or maybe all the drawers just want to show you that smaller items can fit like the snow globes that I have on the left and the right and in the middle just a small figurine and it'll be perfect if you just want to collect items small items or collectibles that will fit inside you can mix and match have the drawer system also at the bottom I also want to show you that it will fit nine spools of this twines that they sell at Dollar Tree and look they fit perfectly here three in a row three rows and a total of nine I think they sell this at Dollar Tree for I think three or four in a pack so if you also like to sew you can use this to store your threads as well as your baker's twines and elastics and all those other smaller items that you would normally use when you are crafting now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use the inner or the drawer portion those with the cutouts there how I'm gonna put them next to each other so I'm gonna put them in four compartments here so I'll just hot glue it here again hot glue works because that one in the backdrop the blue and green I only hot glued them before I painted them so I'm gonna be just hot gluing the sides making sure that I put the cutout this way and then the very end those two cutouts will be kinda put together so that it will not show either in the front or the back or even at the end so 
So as you can see, one will have a complete hole there, but it doesn't matter because it's not going to show in this arrangement that I'm going to be making. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint this in brown, kind of like mimicking a stain color. So I just want to make it look like very rustic as well. Like I said, I'm creating something more of a farmhouse style. So I'm using this apple barrel, nutmeg brown, and I'm just going to be painting this. Probably a couple of coats of this nutmeg brown will do the job. After the paint has dried up, I am going to be putting this poster stickers. These are the ones that are in caps that they sell at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be attaching one letter at a time. So these four boxes will have a letter each to spell out the word home. <music> Just going to be doing a little bit of upcycling or recycling here. I'm going to be using the tea bottles of tea drink that my daughter has saved me. She has been drinking a lot of these uh, cold tea drinks and since the container is made of real glass, I told her to save me those glasses or those bottles for my future projects. So it's easy to just peel off the labels and then wash in warm soapy water and then rinse well those sides only with sticky residues. And I know that this is very tall for the project. The perfect size would be really this one here which is something that the Dollar Tree carries. However, since I already have those empty bottles, I might as well just use them, upcycle them, rather than spend more money for this project. So I just want to mention that I am using what I have on hand in my stash. Even these wooden boxes, I ordered them about a couple of months ago when they were having the $4.95 flat shipping and handling before we had to stay home but now I think Dollar Tree isn't selling online because they're focusing on delivering essential items to their sites but anyway I'm pretty sure once everything is back to normal you will be able to find them again online if you cannot find them at your local stores so these bottles fit perfectly I love them and now I'm just going to be decorating these bottles just to make them more in tune with the farmhouse style. I'm gonna be using this twine. I have this in my stash as well from Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing here is I just cut around 12 inches of this twine and then I'm just gonna be tying a simple bow and then this will be what I will adorn this bottles here. I'm foregoing painting each bottle. I kind of like the appearance of clear bottles, so nostalgic. And if you want to paint them, go for it. But to me, I think I like it as is. I love the shape and the clear uh, appearance. And you can also opt to put some fairy lights inside so that at night you can light them up. For me, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible.
So again, working off of from my stash, I'm actually just reusing some of my lavender flowers. I took them away from one of my floral arrangement that I created back in fall. And since lavender is pretty much all year round anyway, I like the look and simplicity of lavender. I'm just putting one bunch in each of the glass. And that's just a simple arrangement, like I said. Now, this would look really well on top of a mantle or inside a cabinet or side table. And I picture this as a centerpiece as well for weddings. If you want to put instead of H-O-M-E for home, put L-O-V-E for love. Here's another arrangement. So here I'm just going to create a simple arrangement using just my hydrangeas, the green ones that I have on hand. And I love the Dollar Tree hydrangeas. They look so pretty and very inexpensive. Very elegant as well. So I'm just going to be using the green hydrangeas. As you can see, there are some blue ones there as well. I'm not going to be using them in this arrangement because I'm just going to try to keep it simple. And if you want to add more flowers, like this roses that I got a Dollar Tree a while back. It's, as a matter of fact, if you've seen the vase, the blue vase earlier, I have the same roses. So I just picked four of them, just the four flowers just to put in each box. So just so I have another contrast here. To make it fuller as well as I like the combination it's so neutral so here it is I set it up for spring I'm using this Dollar Tree figurine and this comes in this pack with three paints and then on top of the bunny's head there is like a hook and there is a string attached so what I've done is I pulled it out and then I also hot glued a cutout of a very small butterfly in yellow like I'm trying to make it seem like it is chasing the butterfly and then the butterfly just happened to have landed on its forehead Here is another way that I am displaying this home centerpiece. I put the centerpiece or arrangement next to my previous projects. So this one here looks like a milk jug that I made using a 99 cents only store clear glass carafe. And I believe the Dollar Tree sells something similar, only smaller. And I place a Dollar Tree uh, kind of like succulent flowers there inside. I have a video on that one which I am going to be linking in the upper right hand corner so that you can watch how I made that. And then I also have those coasters that I created a while back or probably a month, a month and a half ago. So this is how I displayed the four empty bottles and I just put them on top of a shelf and below it is one of my previous projects as well. I'm going to be linking all of this in the description box below in case you want to watch. That's also a Dollar Tree project. It's one of my faves. So that's it everyone. I hope everyone is having a great day and staying safe and staying at home. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell icon so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. Please leave me some comments down below. I truly appreciate each and every one of you and I'll talk to you again on my next video. Take care now and God bless. Bye bye!